Namaste everyone, my name is Shrikant Ramgar. Welcome to our channel Academate, where we give life to education using technology. In this video, we are going to take up the next involute, that is the involute for hexagonal cross section. And of course, as usual, we'll be doing winding as well as unwinding and finally drawing tangents and normals. So this here is the question. And by now you must already be familiar with the total explanation for what is an involute and how we need to draw, what are the conditions for it. So let me just run off directly to the end part wherein we'll be drawing this particular diagram using AutoCAD. For those who are not familiar with the concept and other stuff, of course, I'll recommend them to go back and watch some of the other involute diagrams in which I have in detail explained what is the situation, why something happens, why certain centers have to be taken and why certain steps need to be followed. So let's go ahead. So just as before, you need to have the template file present with me, uh, with you. I have left the link to download the template file down in the description. So if you can go there and download it, it will be good. Once downloaded, you just need to double click on the template file and you can see it will open a new file with all the settings of the template file so that you don't have to worry about these small details again and again. So you can see this is the problem we have to solve. We have to draw an involute for one complete unwinding. And for winding, we have to take 10.5 centimeter string and we have to use a hexagonal cross section of sides 20 mm. To uh, And when the involutes are drawn, we have to also draw tangents and normals on the curve at 100 mm from the centroid of the cross section. So let's go ahead and first we have to draw the hexagon. So let's move this up slightly. P O L enter. 6 enter now right click choose edge click somewhere on the screen make sure the ortho option is on which you can take from here then feed distance of 20 enter next select the polygon press x enter take circle c enter center point here passing through this endpoint if the end points are not visible, make sure O snap setting is on with all these points selected. If they are not selected, go to object snap settings, click on select all button, click OK and ensure that this is on of course. Now press E X double enter, click on this line, then press shift and click on the parts of circle which you don't need. Press escape, press C enter, center point here, passing through this point, press E X double enter, check click on this edge, press shift, click on the parts of circle which you don't need, press C enter, click on center point, point from where it should continue, E X double enter, click on this edge, press shift, click on the part of circle which you don't need, once again escape, C enter, center point here, passing through this point, E X double enter, this edge, till it touches the circle. Press shift, click on the part of circle which you don't need and so on. So you can see the involute for one complete unwinding has been done. Now let us concentrate on the winding part. So for winding, we have to take a string of 10.5 centimeters. So for that, take line command, L enter, start at this corner, keeping ortho on, feed distance of 105. That's the length in mm for 10.5 centimeters. You can see there are two lines overlapping each other. We don't have to use the bottom line. We have to use the top line for drawing. Take C enter for circle, center point here, passing through the end point of second line. So if you move over this, you can see that an end point is appearing. You have to click up to that. After that, you have to click the two lines within which we want the arc to appear. Then press TR enter, select the part of arc which you don't need. That will trim it away. Continue taking circle, clicking this point passing through this, select the two lines, TR enter, select this and so on. So 
So now you can see here that the involute is complete. The involute should actually touch the cross section till that we should continue drawing the winding part. So now both the involutes have been drawn. Let us now concentrate on the tangent and normal. So it is telling us to draw tangent and normal at 100 mm from the centroid. So first of all, take the centroid by joining any two of the diagonals. Then from the intersection point of the diagonals, draw a circle of 100 radius. You can see the circle is touching the involutes at two points. For the winding, for, for the unwinding involute, it is touching here. And for the winding, it is touching here. I have placed points at these two places, which are not visible. So to change the visibility of points, you have to give the command P type and change its style to something else. Use absolute method and change the size to 2. So now you can see the points are visible. I can delete the circle because it was just for reference. Now I need to draw tangent and normal. Take line command. Center of this arc is here. Join that. Then escape. Pick it from the midpoint. Keep it here. Now take rotate command. Select this point for rotation, right click and choose copy and feed 90, enter from keyboard. Do the same procedure on the other side. Now you can see everything is ready. We just need to apply the properties to different parts. So let's go ahead. Use MA enter, select this solid line and make all those parts as solids which are either asked in the question or provided as information. So these are the involutes and these are the tangents and normals which are asked from us. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, of course, hit that like button, share it with all your friends so that they can enjoy this too. And of course, subscribe to our channel for all the videos that are about to come in the future. Thank you. Continue doing the same process. EX double enter, click on the 